Number 247, a rubber ball is made to fall from a height of 50 feet and it is observed to rebound two-thirds of the distance it falls. How far will the ball travel before coming to rest if the ball continues to fall in this manner? So initially, meron tayong rubber ball na mauhulog from 50 feet. So 50 feet, ito yung height niya. So, mahuhulog yan. Tapos, magbabounce back two-thirds. Two-thirds yung height niya originally. So, two-thirds to ng 50 feet. Two-thirds times 50 feet. And then, two-thirds ulit. Two-thirds naman ito. Kasi, nag-fall siya dito. So, Yung tataasan niya, 2 thirds ulit nito. So, 2 thirds times 2 thirds of 50 feet. So, kung mapapansin mo, parang geometric series lang siya. Kasi na multiply siya ng 2 thirds every time. Hanggang sa mag zero na. Hanggang sa tumigil na sa pagbabounce yung bola natin. So, itong series na to ay infinite series. Kasi yung height natin, na multiply lang siya ng 2 thirds. Lumiliit siya ng lumiliit hanggang sa it approaches zero. So theoretically, hindi dapat siya magzi-zero. Ia-approach lang niya yung zero. So ang gagamitin natin na formula dito ay yung sum of infinite series. So S infinity is equal to G1 divided by 1 minus R. So applicable to kasi yung common ratio natin which is 2 thirds ay fraction. So yung common ratio natin is equal to 2 thirds. Kaya lang, hinahanap natin dito, how far will the ball travel before coming to rest if the ball continues to fall in this manner. So, hinahanap natin yung matatravel ng bola natin. So, from this height, hanggang sa tumigil siya, lahat to, matatravel ng bola yan. So, paano natin marerelate yung distance sa matatravel ng ball dun sa sum of geometric series natin? So, actually, kapag dinoble mo yan, kasi ang matatravel ng bola, parating doble. So, yung pagkakyat niya, tsaka yung pagbaba niya. So, kapag kukunin mo yung sum of geometric series, ang nasasum mo lang yung height. So, natototal mo yung height nila hanggang sa tumigil yung bola. Kaya lang, ang natatravel ng bola, dalawang beses niyang tinatravel yung height na yun. So, akyat, tsaka bababa. So, for example, tong 2 thirds of 50 feet dito, dalawang beses niyang tinatravel yan. So, nagtravel siya ng 2 thirds ng 50 feet, pataas, tsaka pababa. Tapos, the same din dito sa mga susunod na terms. Pero ang exception dito ay yung 50 feet initially. Kasi nga hindi naman siya umakyat. Galing siya sa taas. So, isang beses lang niyang itatravel itong 50 feet na to. So, kung gagamitin natin itong formula na to, dapat magsimula tayo dito. Dito tayo magsimula. Tapos, idodoble natin yung sum of geometric series natin para makuha natin yung total distance travel dito. Kapag nasold na natin yung total distance travel dito, I-add lang natin yung 50 feet dito. So, gagawin natin yan. So, dapat, ang G1 natin ay yung height dito, which is 2 thirds of 50 feet. So, yung G1 natin is equal to 2 thirds of 50 feet. So, yung common ratio natin, 2 thirds. So, masasolve na natin ngayon yung sum of infinite series natin. So, S infinity is equal to 2 thirds times 50 feet divided by 1 minus 2 thirds. So yung S infinity natin, solve natin. Two thirds times 50 divided by 1 minus 2 thirds is 1 third. So 100. 100 yung sum of infinite series natin. So, para ma-solve natin yung total distance na travel dito from this point hanggang sa tumigil siya, 
i-multiply mo lang ng 2 yung sum of infinite series natin. So, na times mo ito ng 2, magiging 200. So, bale 200 yung distance na travel dito. 200 feet. From this point, hanggang sa tumigil yung bola. So, 200 feet. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay yung total. So, dapat i-add mo yung 50 feet. So, kapag pinag-add mo yan, 250 feet yung total na travel na distance ng bola natin. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Number 248. What is the fraction in lowest term equivalent to 0.1313, and so on? So, ito, example to ng non-terminating decimal. So, kapag ganyan, another notation nito ay 0.13133, tapos merong bar sa taas. So, kung ano yung nauulit na numbers, yun yung lalagyan mo ng bar. Tapos, wag mo na ilagay yung mga susunod. Kasi, ibig sabihin nito, nauulit tong 133. 133, 133, 133, and so on. Another example, 0.33333, and so on. Ang notation nito, 0.3 bar sa taas. So, ito, ang equivalent nito sa fraction, kunin mo yung numbers na nauulit. So, 133. Tapos sa denominator, lagyan mo ng mga 9. Sa so, kung ilang digits yung nasa numerator, ganoon din kadaming 9 yung ilalagay mo sa denominator. So dito meron tayong tatlong digits. 1, 3, 3. So, tatlong digits, dapat meron ka ding tatlong 9 sa baba. So, the same din dito. So, isa lang yung digit na nauulit. So, 3 lang. Dapat isa lang yung 9 na ilalagay mo. So, itry mo i-solve to. Magiging 1 third. So, 1 third. Pag nilagay mo yan sa calculator, maging 0.3333 yan. So, nasagot na rin natin yung problem. Doon sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot dito. Number 249. Find the sum of the infinite geometric progression, 6, negative 2, negative 2 thirds, and so on. So, gagamitin lang natin yung formula ng sum of infinite progression, or S infinity which is equal to g1 over 1 minus r. So, yung g1 natin ay 6. At yung common ratio natin ay, pag-divide mo lang itong dalawang to, negative 2 divided by 6, negative 1 third. So, magiging 6 over 1 minus or magiging plus na yan plus 1 third so ang tamang sagot ay 9 over 2 which is letter A number 250 find the sum of 1 negative 1 fifth 1 over 25 and so on so walang sinabi kung anong klaseng series to kaya lang mapapansin mo naman na geometric series siya. Kasi ito, from 1 naging negative 1 fifth. So, na-multiply siya ng negative 1 fifth. So, the same din dito. Para maging 1 over 25, dapat i-multiply mo din ng negative 1 fifth. So, meron silang common ratio which is negative 1 fifth. So, wala siyang sinabi kung ilang terms. So, ibig sabihin, infinite to. So, para ma-solve natin yung infinite series, kailangan lang natin yung g1, which is yung 1, divided by 1 minus yung common ratio which is negative 1 fifth. So, ang sum ng series natin, 1 over 1, so minus negative 1 fifth maging plus 1 fifth na lang yan. 5 over 6. So, letter A ang tamang sagot. Number 251, find the ratio of an infinite geometric progression if the sum is 2 and the first term is 1 half. So, given tayo ng infinite progression, yung sum daw niya, or S infinity is equal to 2, at yung first term niya, or G1, is equal to 1 half. So, hinahanap dito ay yung ratio daw, or yung R. So, hanapin natin yan. 
So, yung S infinity natin is equal to G1 over 1 minus R. So, 2 is equal to yung G1 natin is 1 half divided by 1 minus R. So, simple lang to. 1 minus R is equal to, ilipatan natin yung 2 sa kabila, maging 1 fourth. So, ilipat natin yung R sa kabila, tapos yung 1 fourth dito, maging 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to R. So, yung R natin is equal to 3 fourths. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot.